Hey, it's Ryan here with Parts Doctor. Today we're gonna to show you how to replace the ice route cover on the Samsung refrigerator. We're gonna need a few different tools for the job. We'll leave them listed in the description below. Let's get started. For this repair, we'll need to unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. First, we'll start off by removing this Phillips screw. With the screw removed, we'll next remove the dispensary cover assembly. To remove the dispensary cover assembly, you'll put your two thumbs on the side and firmly grasp the ice dispenser hole on the bottom and pull it towards you to remove it. With it removed, pivot the left side out. There are wires connected on the right side that we'll need to disconnect. Next, remove the wire plug by depressing the retaining clip. With the dispensary cover assembly removed, we now have access to the ice route case assembly. To remove that, we'll need to start by removing these two screws. With the two screws removed, you'll need to pull out and downward on the ice route case assembly to remove it from the water line. Next, we'll remove the wire connector by depressing the locking clip. To remove the ice route cover, you'll insert a screwdriver and pry on this side until it comes out. Next, you'll need to simultaneously pry up on these two clips to release these two parts. Next, we'll untension the spring by lifting the long leg onto the other side of the cover. Now you'll be able to slide the spring off the cover. If you have a bad ice route cover and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You'll wanna make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you're getting the correct part. Next, we'll start with the end of the spring that has the shorter leg and slide it onto the shaft. Next, bend the longer leg of the spring onto the back of the cover. Next, bend the short leg of the spring back and then snap the two pieces back together. Make sure the short leg of the spring is on top of the rubber cover when you're done. First, bend the short leg of the spring back and insert it and make sure it catches on the top of the cover. Next, insert the left tab into the hole, then pull the angled right tab forward until it locks into place. This is kind of tricky to do, so it may take you a few tries to get it. To reinstall the ice route case assembly, we'll start by plugging the wire connector back in. Next, reinstall the water tube into the ice route case assembly, making sure that the wires go behind the tube. Next, guide the assembly up and towards the rear to put it into place. Next, we'll reinstall the two Phillips screws. With the ice route case assembly installed, next we'll reinstall the dispenser cover assembly. Next, we'll reinstall the electrical plug by pushing it until it snaps into place. Next, we'll tilt the dispenser cover forward and insert the rear of it into the recessed opening on the door. The cover is held into place with six locking tabs. Firmly push on the edges until they lock into place. Next, reinstall the Phillips screw on the bottom of the dispenser cover. Now that everything's back together, you wanna to plug the refrigerator back in and test it out to make sure that everything's working properly. So that's it for this repair. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below.